Hello, I'm Harry Cullen and I'm a teacher of Corporate Legal English here in Cambridge. Welcome to today's topic, which is an introduction to limited companies. This type of business structure is common all over the world and a lawyer who has the English language skills to discuss limited companies in detail will be a great asset to any employer. The vocabulary of limited companies is very important. For example, when advising clients involved in international transactions, such as contracts involving goods or services. Your client might be a limited company, or perhaps the other party is. Actually, there's a very high chance that it will be both. And although doing business with a limited company has many advantages, it also carries with it some potential risks. A good commercial lawyer will need to be able to explain both the advantages and the risks in clear and accurate English. And of course, a knowledge of how limited companies work is absolutely vital for any lawyer working in mergers and acquisitions. For example, could you explain to an English-speaking client the potential difficulties of buying or merging with a limited company in your own country? The purpose of this study module is to introduce you to some of the legal concepts and vocabulary that you'll need to be able to carry out this kind of work with accuracy and confidence.